Hey there everyone, it's your team Kiwi back here again with another Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown stream. So, as the, in the title, I'm just going to be showing you all the special skins, or the, the skins you get from downing all the named aircraft, or named aces. So, I will show you them on all the aircraft, since I've got all of them. I'll go through the list first. We've got this on the MiG-21. That's Pyro, just as one on the MiG-29, Bayonet on the F-16, Ronin's one for the F-15, Bangs for another F-15, with the F-15C, Kittens for the F-14, Falcons for the Typhoon, I hope I pronounced that right, Gazelle for the F-15E Strike Eagle, Spider for the F-18, now this one was a pain in the ass, just because of the radars and because I decided to try and do it on ace mode. <laughs> um, Lou Vitao, Gripen E, I hope I didn't butcher that one either. Ibis, the SU-33, Chisua, Raphaelium, Walrus, the SSU-34 fullback, Fodor, the Mirage 2000, Buffle the A10, Thunderbolt 2, and then Comet, MiG-31, Gadfly, the SU-47 Barricard, Serpent, the SU-37 Terminator skin, Bogan and his F-2A skin, his Axeman and his SU-35S skin, not that great, um, Mantis and their F-35C Lightning 2 skin, Lynx and their Black Widow skin, and then the SU-57 skin acquired by Downing Calamity, and the F-22A Raptor skin by Downing Tempest. Okay. So first on our list was the MiG-21, which I have been using a lot lately for my machine gun only run of the campaign. That's pretty much it. Not too bad. It's quite bright. I quite like this skin to be honest. And this plane's always been a favourite of mine. It's always a nice looking plane. Next is the F-16. This skin here reminds me of the skin the, um, of an F-15, a special M-15. F-15 that they have in one of the Ace Combat games, the F-15 MTD Maneuverable Test Bed, that stands for when there's got thrust at vectoring nozzles and um, big giant cannons on the front. Not too shabby that one. Next is the F-15J Ronin skin. Pretty basic. Nothing too flash. Next up, F15C Bang. I 
think this has the pixie skin too, it does. So this is a special skin. Nothing fancy again. Oh, just another little side note, the F15J. That skin it has is a real is a real world skin that the Japanese um, Air Defense Force has. And this is just the Pixie skin from Ace Combat 4, I believe. He was such a big head, that guy. Okay, next plane is big F14. Not a bad skin to be honest. Quite nice. Quite a nice aircraft too. Very thick the shoulders. And I'll show you the special skin, the Raspberries or Raspberries skin, which is I like this one a lot. I'm trying to remember what game this is from as well, I think this might be the fourth game as well. Or maybe the fifth. Can't quite remember. Anyway, on to the next aircraft. This is the EF2000 Typhoon. And this, I believe, is a real world skin as well um, that the German Air Force use. Nothing too flash. It's even got the little LED strobe light there. That's quite nice. Okay, on to next F15. Gazelle skin. Quite basic, nothing fancy going on. Next up is the F18 or F18 fighter attacker. Quite basic as well. Nice digital camo. This used to be a favourite aircraft of mine. Hmm. I never noticed that before in the rear. Next up is that Gripen E. Roll aircraft. Have a quick look at the Arugia skin. Not bad, it's quite nice. It's not a bad skin at all. So I haven't even used this aircraft yet. I've only ever used fighters. <laughs> Next up is the SU-33. On to my Russian babies. These Russian aircraft are really good looking. Such handsome aircraft. Not too fancy. Nothing going on here that's great. Apart from the little shark mouth there. Okay, 
Okay, next up is the Raphaelian. Very dark skin. There's going to be a new variant of the said Prophecy very soon as well. So France has just put in an order that they want a specific um, air superiority fighter variant of this, the Raphael F4, and it's going to be apparently the most advanced fighter jet in the world. And it should be out around 2024. Our core functions will be displayable in 2022. Apparently, next up, SU-34. Even though this has got quite a wide duck, duck bill shaped front, it's quite an attractive aircraft. It's a very big aircraft as well. It's a bomber. And it's highly maneuverable in real life. Maybe not in this game, but in real life it is, especially because of those cannons there. And how aerodynamic it is, and if you look, you want to know how big it is compared to a person. If you look right there on the back of the front landing gear, that's a ladder to get inside of it. The pilot, that's how the pilots get in. By like climbing up the inside of the landing gear. Look how tiny that is compared to the plane. Alright, next up is the Mirage 2000. I really should use some of these other planes. I remember in the game Hawks, if anyone remembers that, it was one of the aircraft you used in one of the story missions. Now, I like this skin a lot. I remember it from a movie, and I forget what movie it's in. Uh, someone will remember. I, I remember I saw a clip on YouTube a few a week ago or so with it and I said oh shit and I recognized it I was like oh that's from Ace Combat but then really it's Ace Combat got it from that very nice and simple but effective alright on to the A10 Skin a lot. This isn't a special one. Uh, I suppose it's the second special skin. I actually prefer this a lot more than the normal skin, normal special skin. Like who doesn't a shark mouth? <laughs> Here's the special skin. Nothing too shabby going on. Oh, I'm gonna change the hanger quickly. Get more lighting, here we go, much better lighting. Probably should have done that from the get go, but oh well. Okay, so next we have the MiG 31. The world's fastest interceptor. <laughs> We know if that exists. Quite a large aircraft as well. Next up, the Sukhoi SU-47 Vericut. I remember this was been in a few Ace Combat games, but in its prototype form is the S-32, I think it was, or the S-37. 
or something along those lines. I actually like this a lot with the standard skin. Black suits it well. I remember this prototype was a tan colour. Like this. <laughs> or more tan than that actually. This skin reminds me of the boss's skin in Ace Combat Assault Horizon. The one that flies the T-50 Pakpa, which is now officially designated the SU-57. I've always thought it was funny how it has. If you notice there, those little um, prongs out the back there. They're not symmetrical, one's longer than the other. I don't know why they just didn't make it the same length as each other, if I can understand. Like, different electronics being larger in one of them than the other, but... Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, on to the SU-37. This plane is awesome. It's such a good plane in real life. I think there was only two made and one crashed. <laughs> Um, too much. It was going to pilot was going too hard with it and doing maneuvers for the show, but this thing is so maneuverable. Probably one of the most maneuverable aircraft in the world. Beats like, probably all the American aircraft that are out because of the combination of thrust vectoring and the cannons. But this thing is amazing. I remember this used to be a boss plane in SS Combat 4, the Yellow Squadron. And it's just standard. And here we go, here's Yellow Squadron skin, Yellow 13. Here's the main boss, the leader of the squadron. I remember I thought that plane was so awesome. Here's the special skin that we get from Serpent. It's quite nice to be honest. Nice digital sky camo. So you've got the blues and then the white of the clouds. It'd be very nice if that was on the underside. Camouflage from the ground, but oh well. Up next is the F2. I'm guessing that's probably quite far up because it's Japanese. And I do like the standard skin on it. It's quite nice. Not too bright and vivid, but it's nice. This reminds me of a traditional World War II Japanese skin that the Zeros had. So here we go. Special skin. You can definitely tell there's Japanese flag theme going on here, white and red. Vortex generators there on the nose, right before the nose cone. Or sensors, one of the other. Next up, the C-35. As you can see, it's quite plain and it's just like the, um, the SU 47 skin, that's IP, Ace Combat, this whole Horizon boss skin. And look, it looks like it's got some bare metal here on the leading edge of the tailplane.
really see a lot of the jagged edge panels and stuff that make up the plane, all the different movable parts. It's quite impressive really how many parts there are. That's all for Stell. All the jagged edges help break up radar signals so they bounce off in different directions rather than just reflected straight back. Alright, on to the next one, the F-23. Now this plane is actually a lot better than the Raptor in real life in all aspects, including stealth. But it just wasn't picked, probably because the company that made it <laughs> made the B-2 Spirit Bomber and that thing cost like over a billion dollars and I think the US Air Force was a bit salty about the cost of that that they were having to pay for. So they picked the F-22, thinking it would probably be cheaper than this, just out of spite even though this is superior to the F-22. Much longer range as well, faster, stealthier, carried a larger load of weapons. Thrust effect ring too, more manoeuvrable. But yeah, I think this skin has been featured in another Ace Combat game. And now we're up to the last two skins. The SU-57. I quite like the default skin. Lovely to see those Levcon flaps along the wing to help like, act as cannons. With the Rouge skin, which is the skin the boss uses in the last Ace Combat game. And then the special skin. Which I like, to be honest. It's subtle, but it's nice. It's like following the airflow as it goes over the plane and how it deflects off the edges in the surface area. And then last but not least, the F-22. I like this skin a lot. it is a really nice looking plane but there's still just something about the the Russian planes that just look better to me at least this is a very handsome plane so yeah that's that um, I will throw something else in here, I will show the special skin for the XO2 that you get for getting all of those other skins. Let's just have a quick look at the Rouge skin, nothing fancy going on, quite boring. And the standard skin, boring as well. But this is the special one, the one that Mihai uses for Mr. X. If that's what you know I'm as. It's kind of disappointing this is the only super plane in the game considering there's 10 or more of them in the whole franchise. I remember my PSP game, the Joint Assault, had them all, including the normal version of the Wyvern. And I remember it was one I didn't really like too much. <laughs> Although it was really good maneuverability wise. And I'll throw in one more, the plane that Mihai uses throughout the earlier part of the game, and his special skin. Which, the way to get this unlocked, if you're wondering, is by getting the medal in mission 17 I believe it is. No, mission 18, in the Beehive mission where you need to down him when he appears in the XO2. You need to down him within 5 minutes without using special weapons. Now, you can, you if you're going for the machine gun run like I did, I used the MiG-21 <laughs> and got him 
with the machine gun pods and the cannon. So like, machine gun pods, even though a special weapon, it counts as a, as a machine gun. So it overrides that special weapon thing, so you can use that. But I didn't use any missiles on them, I just used the machine guns, because I'm doing the machine gun only run of the campaign, so yeah, that's why I got this. Very nice. Um, and I'll do one more special one. The F-104C Starfighter. This has got a really nice skin. I'll be finding out what that special skin is in a moment, but look at that. Oh, that is quite beautiful. So yeah, that's going to conclude the stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit that follow button so you'll be notified when I go live next or for whatever I go live next with. Um, I'll also be exporting this to my YouTube channel, so if you're interested in checking that out, you can follow the link underneath my live stream panel. I upload clips and stuff there, which I can't do to Twitch, so that's the benefit of that. And if you do happen to like what you see over there, then why not hit that subscribe button to help support me? It would mean a lot to me and I'd very much appreciate it. As always, drop a comment down below as to what you'd like to see me next, things you think I could do better with, or just general constructive criticism, and yeah, hope everyone's having a great day and a great night wherever in the world you are. Peace out everyone, have a good one.